What's up guys? Uh, Martin back uh, for a DVD and Blu-ray update. Uh, it's been about a week since my last update um, and I actually got a few, quite a few uh, Blu-rays and some DVDs to show. First off we'll start off with the uh, DVDs and I just got a, uh, a Jason Slasher collection which uh, I never got to see Jason Goes to Hell which is the one I really wanted to watch and I'm not interested in watching this one and I already have this one uh, but I just realized that I have no Jason or Friday the 13th movies except the new one and so I'm going to start building my collection of uh, Friday the 13th so I just kind of started off with this it was like $13 so it was pretty cheap at Walmart and um, yeah, I mean, three movies for 13 bucks? That's pretty good. Uh, and that's the only DVDs I have. Uh, some Blu-rays that I got is uh, I got Away We Go, which is a pretty good movie. Uh, I like, I like, I forgot his name, uh, but he's Jim from The Office. He's really funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty funny movie. Um, check it out. Uh, the next one I got was R Rudo y Cursi. It's in uh, it's a Spanish movie, uh, directed by Carlos Car Carron, and his brother directed Y tu mamá también, which is a great great film also, uh, and it also stars these two guys. Um, this is a really good film. They're like it it really shows how different American cinema is different from Mexican cinema. It's very different. Uh, a lot of heart and soul, you can tell, has been put into these films. So, uh, I appreciate that. And it's really good, though. It's a really good story, also. Um, next one I got was uh, Batman Superman Public Enemies on Blu-ray. Uh, the movie, it was good. Uh, I was never really into the whole you know, uh, Justice League and, and uh, Superman so much. I was us I was way more into Batman. Batman, you know, by himself, no other, not even Robin. I mean, just Batman by himself. Uh, email, sorry. Um, but but this is pretty good. And it, it in the uh, in the special features, it, it comes with uh, four four or, or no no. Yeah, four episodes of the Justice League and like two episodes of the Superman animated series. So it actually, I, I started watching them and they're actually pretty good. So uh, I know that in a couple months, I think, or in a month, they're releasing the Justice League uh, box set, the whole like the whole series, and the bat and the Superman one too. So I'm probably gonna be picking those up just because I, I kind of want to get into it. So. That, that was pretty good. That was pretty cool. Uh, next one I got was uh, Monsters vs. Aliens. McLovin, sorry. I just got email. Um, that was on my phone. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so Monsters vs. Aliens. It's a... Uh, it's a really... It's actually really good. I liked it. It was really funny. Um, you know, really good visuals. Uh... You know, the, the story is pretty good, too. But yeah, it was a pretty cool movie. I liked it. Um, next one, I got American Werewolf in London. It's one of my favorite uh, werewolf movies. Uh, this one is amazing, actually. It, it, it shows the transformation in bright lights, and you've never really seen that before. Even to this day, I don't think you really see a transformation like that. Uh, a lot of time and effort was put into that scene alone and you know it's it pays off very well uh it's you know it's funny it's it's horror it, it's a great mix of both genres it is a, a horror film but i mean it has a lot of comedy in it but it's it's not it's not a over the top it's very you know subtle and it's very the the comedy is very realistic you know it's it's a very very great film. I love that film. John Landis uh, directed. Also, John Landis directed uh, 
Thriller, the Thriller video. And you can tell how after making this one, he kind of uses the same kind of effects in in, in uh, Thriller video. So, I mean, it, it inspires a lot of people. It's a really fun movie to watch. Uh, and the last thing I got was uh, la The la Last House on the Left. I know it's been out for a little while, but um, I just watched it, the unrated version. I don't know. I haven't seen the theatrical version, and I'm not sure if there's a difference, how, how much of a difference there is, but in the unrated version at the very end, you know, like, I could have done without that scene. Like, it, it didn't need it, you know? Uh, and it was very unrealistic, as opposed to the whole film, which is very realistic. I really liked the movie a lot. It was really good. I liked it. Uh, but the thing about it was, the last scene kind of... Oh, on the unrated version. I'm not sure if it's the same scene in the uh, theatrical if and if any of you guys know, just you know, let me know in the comment below. Um, but the the last scene, just like what you know, the microwave and it, I don't know, I, it kind of ruined it for me that last scene. So I could have done without it. The movie as a whole is great. I liked it a lot, but it just I didn't need that last scene. It was fine without it. And uh, with that, uh, I'll let you guys go. Uh, so thank you to my subscribers. Rate, comment, subscribe again. Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys next time.